Hello, welcome back. Uh, a while ago, I did a video about this thing, of this, ooh, what is it? It's got a brand new, newer Calox, which is a helping hands thing, a, a third pair of hands type thing. It did have an arm on here, but I've got, I've used that for other things now. I don't know if I've got a spare one hanging around I can show you. No, I've got all uh, lights and things mounted on them, but it's a, an opposable arm. This camera is actually on one. And I thought that this was an upgrade to the previous lock link type helping hands thing that I had. But I still, I don't use this. I use this base for things. Uh, this was actually, the base was for my microscope, my previous microscope. I can't, I don't think this, well, I can't remember what base this came with, but I, uh, I, may, I put it on this bigger base because it just became more useful. Oh, this also came with other bits. Came with these things as well, which are just spiky magnets. And they've got like ridges in them, so you're meant to put a PCB in between them. I can show you that. So if I want to work on this one, you put one there and kind of put them in offset corners. But it's, it's fiddly. Uh, no, I've done that wrong. So that one would go there. This one would go here. And then this one would go here. But it's still, you probably need another one just to lock it in place. Maybe another two. But it's still not great. And if you need to work on the other side, you have to take it apart and get it all back in there. It's, it's not ideal. It's not so bad if you're working on something with points in, like this has actually got some. Try that way. Better if they're in all four corners. <laughs> but it's still uh, fiddly to get them in the right place and it's not sitting in there. It doesn't want to sit down. That one's wrong. Yep, rubbish. So I've n literally never used these. I might use the magnets because they've got they're quite handy magnets with a, a screw in the back of them. But yeah, I've literally never used those. And these, so long, I, the, the, the shorter ones are too short and therefore not as flexible as you want them because they just spring back from where you want to put them. And the long ones are too long and you end up having to try and waste some of the, the length of it and then they still don't go sit in exactly the place you want all the time. If you're putting two wires together, it's really difficult to get them to go in the right place. Also, they're crocodile clips. They're not the best thing to hold anything with. They've got heat shrink over the end. I think I put this heat shrink over the end to stop them damaging boards and things, but I still, I wouldn't trust them with a delicate board. Uh, so yeah, they're not ideal. The other thing is that the, uh, this locking screw comes loose and every now and then I'll put this away and I'll find these on the floor. So that's not good either. But I noticed somebody on Discord, on the Retro Hardware Discord, sat telling me or told everybody about a different one. Josh Murray shared this and I saw it and instantly ordered it. So I thought this will solve all of my problems. Omnifixo, I, I like the name of it as well, comes in this nice case. It's got a metal base here and uh, the top of it is plastic and you just... Whoop. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it, the magnets in here hold, hold the, uh, the base in there. I suppose it probably goes that way around. Yeah. And so you've got a metal base with some nice rules on it and some odd bits here that we'll get to in a minute and then we've got four magnets and four grips so here the grips and the magnets <laughs> and these magnets are really strong and the idea is that these sit in there and you can put them wherever you want and then you've got a nice flat jaw to hold anything you want in and that's strong enough to hold a pcb on its own Let's put that one there. 
Put that on there. Another one over here. There you go, that's, that's plenty strong enough to hold and work on. I mean, it's flexible there, but you can easily solve that with another one if you really want to. Marvellous, that's perfect. And it's really easy to take these off. And then flip it over. Work on the other side. And the good thing is, because this base is, is nice, but it's, it's a bit lightweight and uh, small for my needs. Just needs metal. So I can just plonk them over on this base. They actually grip a lot better on here because this is a heavier base. This is a lot thinner than this one. But the advantage of this one is that you can clip a lead on here. If you take these silicon ends off of the, uh, the, the jaws, like that, um, and then put this one oh, I suppose it goes that way up on there then you've got a, a, a straight path through there if you need conductivity and you can power something on here if you're working on something I'm probably not going to use that I'll probably just use this that is amazing. I'm so impressed with that. It wasn't really cheap, but I still think it was really good value for money. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Yeah, you'll be seeing this in a, a lot more videos coming up because I think uh, this is going to be one of those ones that is so handy. Like this one was it would do the job, but it was a pain to use, so I never use it. So I'm actually going to just take all of these off, put these somewhere else, and I'll just, this will be hung under my desk home down here, under my workbench down here, ready to be used. Sweet. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.